Hello there, Bob. What are you doing? Hiya, Caesar. I'm just watering these flowers. Oh, Bob. I didn't know you had a flower garden. It's not mine, Caesar. I don't know whose flowers they are. Oh, why are you watering them? I don't know. Somebody needs to water them. They need a love. Oh, Bob. Are you taking that flower? No, no, Caesar. I'm helping them. The too many flowers in the garden is bad for the flower garden. Say, Caesar, do you have a cigarette lighter? Hello and welcome to Caesar Snack Sandwich. Today we're on Ethereum talking about this little project that Emiliano has uh, produced for a year in finance. Now if we scroll down through this, you can read this if you have some time. I'll link to it in the description. He basically got a call out from this protocol or this project to ask for some help and he decided to help them out. Um, basically what this project is doing is, uh, well, let's read it. A smart comb system combining social verification with video submission to create a Sybil proof list of humans. Blah, 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 blah. Well, what does that mean? Basically it allows you to dox yourself, you know, supply your name, your video, like, oh, I am a person, right? And then they will give you some token burr, okay? Like basically every day or every something or other, they will start giving you these UBI tokens. Now I wasn't able to find any emission schedule or how many tokens you will get by doxing yourself. But uh, I do see some use cases for this, like maybe airdrops. It would be much better to airdrop to people than it would be to a bunch of bots. So I, I do see some use cases for this, but uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about this project. I'm more interested in talking about how Emilio, Emiliano sorry, solved this guy, these, their problem. So I'm gonna swing over to a flowchart to explain it to you. Okay, so here we are on the flowchart, and uh, here we have, uh, I'm gonna call him Siri, and he's gonna be the guy who represents that protocol that has a problem, okay? They have all of these tokens, all these people, let's say a lot of people have signed up for their UBI tokens, and they're just getting tons of them. And maybe the market cap or the circulating supply has grown too much, for what they feel is a good number. So they've selected some number, maybe 50 million, and maybe it's at 50 million and 10 tokens. And they're like, oh, this is no good. We have to try to figure out some way to sustainably get rid of these tokens and keep the supply at a certain number. So this is the problem that he approached Emil with and said, hey, can you help me with this? And Emil's like, sure, let me think about it. And he put his brain in there and he pondered it and so forth and this is the idea he came up with so he built a, a vault uh, like a strategy uh, a yearn vault that's basically like a proxy vault that's based on the yearn system right and he asked the Sybil and his community to stick die into this vault and so they stick them vault the die into this vault and then what the die the vault does is it takes all that die and sticks it into the big yearn vault the one that's producing income and has apys and interest and so forth so after some time of sticking the die into this vault it will um, eventually report some profit back so one die goes in and two die comes out now obviously it's not that much but anyhow you get the idea so some die comes back to them so this is where the magic happens um, this vault will then assess the current supply at that time and think about oh what can I do I will take some of these profits and I will send them over to Uniswap and I will buy some of the UBI tokens from the Uniswap, and then I will just send them to the barbecue and burn them. So by burning this one, you're burning some of the supply. Now this is pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. It's uh, not a incredibly complex system, but it does solve a problem that is quite nice. Now, in this case, I, I believe that they used the community or, or some people funded this vault, but I think that in the future that uh, this could definitely be used with fees. Let's say this protocol here was producing fees somehow instead of using the fees themselves to buy back tokens and burn them, they could use the fees to start to build up a balance in a vault. And then when they felt the number was ideal, then they could tell the vault to buy and burn some tokens. 
now it's its own vault and it falls under the control of whoever you know whoever Bob gives the control to but so they could possibly even change that number you know if they decided that you know 50 million was too much we want uh, 25 million then this thing could start burning like crazy or whatever right so I think you know eventually it would just become self-sustaining like if they feed it with fees for a while then it would just have enough income to just burn whatever they need to burn at whatever time. So I think this is not like, you know, it's like not overly complicated. It's not huge APYs. It's not like magic, like money printer, but it does provide a service to a protocol that needs this service. Okay. Now, one of the other magical things that this was, was these people here, they're also getting APY and supporting the system that they want to support. So in this case, if we didn't use fees and we just used people, then they have some tokens that they can hold on to, you know, yield bearing tokens that they could use for other things and so forth. Okay, so I, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a quick little video, but I think you get the idea and I think it's it's magic, right? It's a kind of magic and very good use case. So I'm, I'd be interested to see what kind of uh, other projects take on this uh, system and use the yearn volts. Now, of course, you could change this token to any of the other yearn volts. It could be ETH, it could be whatever. You know, let's say this protocol is uh, charging ETH as their fee, or they have, you know, they're collecting some tokens that they could just use this for. Okay, so thanks for watching and goodbye.